Hey everyone, Kita Sean here. So welcome back to another Fake Grand Order video. So we're going to be talking about a section of the Famitsu interview between Tight Moons Nasukinoko and Hoyo versus David Jiang. Uh, before we get into it, I do want to say that this interview is really, really good. I highly recommend you guys reading it. Uh, there is an official translation of, on Crunchyroll of all places. Link is down below for you guys to read it. If you guys are a Tight Moon fan, a Hoyoverse fan, or just someone that wants to get into the game industry, uh, learn about script writing, character designing, I again, I highly recommend you guys reading this interview because it gives you an idea of what both Nasu and and David are thinking when running a company, um, creating stories, uh, creating characters and such. So again, link is down below for you guys to read. Check it out for sure. Uh, so going into the interview, we're going to be talking about the whole Passion Lip controversy. I wouldn't really say it's a controversy, but basically Passion Lip fans are rioting right now because of what Nasu stated. So in this conversation, how it got to the whole Passion Lip stuff, uh, both Nasu and David were talking about the creative freedom that the creators have within the company. Uh, Hoyoverse, the character designers and the uh, story writers, the script writers actually have a lot of freedom. Compared to Type Moon, uh, the, the character designers and story writers have to go through both Takeuchi and Nasu before getting the green light. So uh, right here, Nasu talks about Takeuchi a little bit. So in fact, even within Type Moon, it's not a completely free creative mode. In the end, there's Takeuchi acting as a safety valve. Safety valve meaning uh, before getting the green light, you need to go through Takeuchi. So providing suggestions like this might not work out. For the past three years, I've been pestering him saying Passion Lip should wear a swimsuit. My lip is the strongest, but Takeuchi always says absolutely not Kinoko. Um, even Mel Tullis got a swimsuit. This is the interview, or that's us uh, uh, saying that. And then Nasu goes back and says, right, every time my request is brushed off with a seemingly reasonable excuse like Passion Lip swimsuit might or may not be censored. I plan to spend another year persuading him. So after reading that statement, I guess this kind of shows you that Takeuchi is kind of um, concerned when it comes to the App Store. Uh, they, the App Store could be like, hey, uh, too revealing, change that up a little bit. Uh, we, do, we do know that uh, Apple is a little bit more strict when it comes to stuff like that. So they have to definitely uh, design these characters, align those uh, guidelines between you know the app store if it's too revealing uh, you need uh, if, if it's okay kind of thing so yeah I, I actually think that uh, business wise it makes sense uh, but um, still I think the reason why passion Up is not getting a swimsuit is Takeuchi so Nasu again stated that he will do his best to persuade him but we'll just have to wait and see but I, I still find it kind of funny because um, I mean Ibuki Doji, Raiko, Vargas got swimsuits and I mean I, yeah we do know that Passion Lips boobs are, are bigger than them but I, I still think it's still possible if they can make those three servants get swimsuits like, I mean you don't have to make the swimsuit too revealing you can just give her a one piece swimsuit completely fine um, you, you can have her ha wear a sundress or whatever I mean you have Marie Antoinette who has a sundress uh, swimsuit ascension right so you, you can do stuff like that I mean, it, it, just, it doesn't have to be a swimsuit it can just be something summer which I think we could all agree on so uh, yeah I, I find that kind of funny but at the same time where's that passion lip swimsuit <laughs> yeah I think this kind of confirms that passion lip is not getting a swimsuit this year so you can go ahead and take her off your bingo card uh, but maybe it might be a surprise who knows maybe Nasu is just teasing us maybe passion lip might actually get a swimsuit this year who knows but uh, yeah, I, I thought that was actually a really interesting little uh, piece here uh, regarding Passion Lip. Uh, maybe this, not only Passion Lip, but maybe this is actually for other servants as well. So uh, again, before anything could get into FGO, they have to go through Takeuchi and Nasu. So if you guys, again, want to blame um, that Passion Lip does not have uh, swimsuit yet, blame Takeuchi. <laughs> but anyways, uh, that's basically going to be about it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comment section below if you think Passion Lip should get that swimsuit. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.